Hey guys, welcome back and today we got a box and it's actually some stands in there So I got these pretty cheap with all this Black Friday and stuff. So these are newer stands So let's open it up and see what they look like So I think I only paid like 15 bucks for this. Seems like a good deal. It comes with two stands here. So these are made by newer and they are aluminum. So stands are pretty useful to put, you know, things on them like lights, props, even like a background or something. So I don't have any stands really. So I needed to pick them up and I saw these. And so this is what they look like. So it's not very big. And these are definitely not pro guys. I mean, the price should tell that. But still, for these days, to buy something at this price, it's still pretty hard to find good things. And newer usually has pretty good stuff. I have quite a few things that are made by them, and most of it is pretty good. It's all budget stuff, but you know, for new photographers, videographers, and you know, anybody that's starting out, they don't have a huge budget to spend. So, so one of the coolest parts about the stand is that it does have the quarter inch thread up here that pretty much anything mounts to so like cameras video lights monitors whatever else you want to thread on here you can which is super cool and it also has like this universal like connector here that goes on top and you tighten it so I think this stand is only about six feet tall so it's not super tall so let's look at the materials here right quick so it looks like the metal parts here are aluminum most likely and so a lot of the connectors here and end caps are, you know, that's all plastic, obviously. So they got to save the cost somewhere and this bottom piece is plastic too. So I think uh, unless you're really abusive, it should be fine. All right, so let's loosen this one up and see if we can open up the legs here. We push this down. Yes. As you can see, you can adjust this either wider or narrower. Okay, guys, so I can show you a little better like this, but if you push it all the way down, the legs get really wide. And then eventually they, you know, get really tall. So if you needed to go even higher, you could invert it completely like this. So. Or you could be, you know, really wide and stable. And here on the bottom, guys, uh, the foot is just okay. The reason why is because, uh, it, you know, if it's on an angle like this, the only part that's going to be touching the floor is the little tip here. Not as good as I would hope, but it's fine. You know, for carpet especially, it doesn't even matter. Technically for anything, it's fine. But you can see how it sits just kind of on the edge like that. Unhook these guys, and it looks like there's a spring on this one, on the first one. So let's go ahead and go all the way up with that. So this is the height we got now. So it's already a pretty reasonable height, and we have one more here, and that is the total height right there, which is a little bit over six feet, six point two or three, something like that. I can't remember. But in any case, it's taller than me. So yeah, it's a good, good size high. So, and obviously, you know, you're not going to get super stability. So especially if you move this up and you're going to get a thin footprint, you know, you're going to be very unstable at that height. So, But for multi-purpose use, this seems to do this trick. So let's go ahead and put this down. So one of the reasons I got these stands is because I have this um, transmitter here that I need pretty high up. You know, I feed it from a mixer, feed the audio signals to the cameras. I got two cameras that are recording. And I need this thing up high so, you know, I can go over people's heads and still get a good signal. So it does really good overall, but, but if I can get this thing up higher, I know I can get a perfect signal from far away. So as you can see, guys, this quarter thread just threads right on there. So yeah, and that's how that can go, and it can transmit me a nice little signal from... And what I've been doing before is I've been using a little tripod, but that only maxes out to whatever, like this high or something. So it doesn't go up higher. But this thing will go much higher. I could definitely be way over everyone's head now. So this stand is going to be very, very useful for me for at least that purpose there. So, so my point is, is that you can use these stands for multiple, multiple things. These are great as like a little backup stands for anything like that. So these are great options and they're very light. So you can, you know, carry them with you also if you do need that. So you can't really rely on them for heavy things, but for something small, they're great. So even this light right here would go on it really good cool part is, is I can go super high and then down so I can shine down at something more. 
So there's very many uses for a stand and if you need one, I think newer is a good way to go. Their budget, I think when they're not on sale, they're still a good price, which is around 25 bucks or so. All right guys, so I think that'll be it for this video. If you liked it, then hit that like button. If you wanna pick up a stand like this, I'll leave some links in the description. So go check that out. Also guys, if you enjoy this kind of content and you wanna see more videos and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.